Okay, so when was the last time you used the word zeal? Well, it's not one we typically use on a day-to-day -day basis. Jocelyn and I love this word. Today's episode looks a bit different as we close out a year of Devoted in the Daily with the topic of zeal. We're so glad you're here. Now, let's talk about it. Hello there, I'm Christine James. And I'm Jocelyn DeWitt. And here's the thing, the God who created all the earth did not call you, set you apart, anoint you, and create you to live an ordinary life. He called you to live an extraordinary one. Now, Jocelyn and I, we don't have PhDs. We're, we don't have mega ministries. We're just two anointed ladies uh, oversharing about living devoted in the dailies. Welcome to the conversation. This is Devoted in the Daily. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to our Daily in the Devoted alphabetically, right? Devoted in the Daily. What did I say? Daily in the Devoted. <laughs> well, the intro says it like 15 times. So. Oh, gosh. That was seriously so <laughs> Yeah, I'm like really in the devoted. He said it. I was like, that's not right. <laughs> that was good. That was good. I was just focusing on our tanned faces because yeah, we got our sun on. We got our sun on. And then you threw me off with the daily and the devoted, devoted but in the devoted day. in the daily. Here we're, we go. We're uh, um, we've been going alphabetically, and we are at the end. We are at the end. We are at the end of the alphabet. We're on Z Z. You guys. We have news that this is our last episode. Yeah. Yeah. Can you believe it? It's been a year. A whole year. We've been going for a year. Yep. Like August 1st. Was it uh, Was it the 3rd? I don't remember. It I was, think it was, the, it was the first week of August we released our first episode. And here we are wrapping it up a year later. Yeah. How um, crazy. Yeah. So we're just, we're, the Lord has got some other things going on. So season three will be not <laughs> I was like well season three will be our knows? own personal lives we yeah. well we don't know what the lord's gonna do but we uh have loved all of it and enjoyed the journey and the the woes of technology and uh -huh. sound and the bumpy rides of it all no it's been great it's been an adventure thanks for being on the ride with us friends thanks for being on the ride with me christine oh yeah it's been good Yes, it has been good. It's been so good. The Lord has taught us some things, and uh, we pray that, you know, he's used this podcast to teach others some things as well. Yes. So. Very much so. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. A lot of reflecting. Yeah. Um. Okay, so about Z. About Z. Let's dive into Z. We're finishing off with this one Z that we kind of feel wraps up the entire year really yeah well and the whole theme of our podcast yeah what was the daily and the devoted <laughs> it really does no it's like it's like the best seed to have mm -hmm. to wrap up like the lord knew exactly and he planned ahead of time and like we i wouldn't have planned guessed ahead it. of time he did he foresaw he did and he was like and there you go a to z and we're like I don't know. That's what the Lord said. And so we did it. And, and here we here, are. And it makes perfect sense. We're ending with zeal. Zeal. I mean, zeal. It's the best, isn't it? It's so great. I just love this word. You do like I this really word. I really do. It reminds me of you a lot. Really? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. It does remind me of you. Just, I'm surprised. Yeah. Well, uh, zeal, a definition of zeal is great energy or enthusiasm in pursuit of a cause or an objective. I mean, great pursuit. Great pursuit. Enthusiasm. Um, and we just, we have such a great desire and enthusiasm for our Lord. We know. And, and I mean, that's one of the reasons why Jocelyn and I love each other so much and connect so much because we both have this zeal and this mm -hmm. love for our great God. And 
and a pursuit for him. And we come together and we like these conversations that we get to have are just so neat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why we created this, this platform of devoted in the daily and just, we want to spur others on, you know, in this, like, let's all, can we all just live zealously devoted for the Lord? Yeah. Daily. Moment to yeah, moment. Yeah. And all the little avenues and all the little things in pursuit of yeah. him, you know, oh, with enthusiasm. Like, it's like when you really look at it, I just love it. I love being able to have conversations where one person's zealous after the Lord and another person's zealous after the Lord and what he's doing in your lives and sharing it and comparing it and not comparing uh -huh. it in a bad way, but right. like, this is what God's doing in your life. This is what God's doing in my life. Like, look at him go. And we're cheering him on. And cheering each other on. Yeah. Spurring each other on. Exactly. Yeah. And it is a big deal. And we want to do that. And yeah. In the, in the body of in Christ. In the body of Christ. And yeah. that's, we just, I just want to see more. <laughs> More zeal in the church, you know? Yes. She just said it out loud. Like, let's let's stir up the zeal in the body of Christ in the church and not be so sleepy. Mm, not be so sleepy. You know, wake up. Well, and our whole, you know, we're talking about even in our um, intro, how we're not called to live mundane lives. Well, and good. when we do get sleepy, when we do get lackadaisical and we forget to have zeal and pursuit of the Lord, yep. it does, it gets this kind of like either um, this overwhelming and almost drowning feeling or sleepy. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, like a mundane. passivity. Yeah. And, yeah. and really life with God is so adventurous. And, and, and yeah, risky. It's, it's risky. so there's risky. pain too, but there's these like amazing breakthroughs and you get to see supernatural like all the time. You all know, time. you just see, you see his hand in all of the things. And, and so, and we just know that that's what God wants for each one of his kids. Um, so, yeah. I don't, I, literally all of that. <laughs> like, it is because we look, okay, something we had said before is you have to be willing to look crazy a little bit. You have to be willing to look a little different and live a little different and live outside the world and not be conformed by the world and not do things by the world's way or standard or how, or, you know what I mean? Like, but when you're in love, yeah, you know, it doesn't, oh, that's a it good... doesn't matter what others think when you are nope. madly in love, like. Like, and God is just calling us back. Like, remember your first love. Throw off the restraint, you know, and just go. Just go and be zealous. Yeah. I, I heard a pastor recently, he was sharing a little bit of his testimony about how he, um, he ended up selling everything, yeah. all of his possessions. And he moved his family uh, to New York and he was like evangelizing on the street. He's like, okay, Lord, I'm ready to be a head pastor. Like, look at all of these things I've done. I'm ready to be a head pastor. And, and the Holy spirit just said, okay, now actually you're my follower. Yes. Not like, cause you, this is what is required to be a, a Christ follower. This doesn't make you a head pastor. You know, like, it's like, what? Like you look in scriptures and Christ says, you know, leave everything and yep. follow me. Yep. And it was just kind of like this kind of a gut punch, you know, like, oh, like that is, that's what he's calling us to. Like, well, and I was thinking about how there were people that followed Jesus, like crowds that followed Jesus. Right. And then there were the few that stuck by Jesus yeah. and how few and intimate that mm -hmm. was and like isolating and lonely that must have kind of been to like leave everything behind yeah, a little bit and to only have a couple of people like you didn't have crowds you weren't going with the you know having these huge meals with all these like none of that well when Christ was here right yeah that's what I mean when Jesus was walking and I just think to myself what, what would I rather have mm -hmm. like I I would rather be devoted and walking every single day in an intimate that personal intimacy, relationship yeah. relationship and seeing those miracles like you think about all the miracles that those disciples that were close hand in hand yeah. arm in arm walking through the hard seasons walking over dry deserts and saw these miracles just unfolding one after another after they got to see them a lot but even in the like in acts in the new like as 
the church was being formed. What, what were, what was happening? It was people were leaving everything to follow, to follow. Yep. The one and go like, you hear the good news and it's like, and we want to keep going. Yeah. Like, don't just hear the good news and then, like, okay, back to okay. my, yeah, I believe it. And then let it be like that. Like, that's it. Yes. Challenging you it's to daily be walk zealous. that he's asking us to do. Yes. Have a lot of zeal, enthusiasm, pursuit. Yeah. Excitement. In love. In love. To be in love and not feeling that passionate about our God. And it right? does, it comes so much easier when you choose to focus on just loving Christ. Mm -hmm. Do you know, like the hardship? Yes. And amen. Do you know? Yes. Like when you just, when you just focus on loving him and you just focus on his holy. Getting closer to yeah. him, being intimate with God. Everything else the just. The details. Just, it, it's easy. <laughs> it, it's not, it's hard, but it's to your flesh, but it's easier. It's so much easier. Mm -hmm. Like it becomes like this aware, for me, I feel like it's like, I'm aware of all of these things that are going on and these um, things that could be very. <laughs> A, like heavy and anxious. Yes. I'm aware of them. Yes. But there's this big, but like, but it's all right. It's all right. Like I've got this Jesus who I'm pursuing and I'm doing it all with. Yeah. And there's this peace and this grace upon it. I don't know. And I think also the layers of love, right. Yeah. That comes that you get to experience like the different characters of Christ that you get to experience when you just focus on his love. Yeah. Like his provision, his gentleness, his comfort, his protection, his defense, like joy. Yeah. And the, in even the rod, you know? Yeah. Like even I, that conviction. Yes. And I love, like, I am one of those people because I really pursue and, and with enthusiasm, I really truly appreciate the rod. Yeah. You know, because I don't want something to separate me from Christ. You want that purity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Want the purity. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a, Keep going. Like, yeah. don't be afraid of the rod. Don't be afraid of, of, um, the, why do you, why are you doing that? Why that looks weird? Why would you trust that? Like, is God really going to come for like all the, all the thoughts? Yes. Yeah. And the enemy. Yeah. I love it. So I did a little bit of research on the word. Is it okay? Can I go into a little bit of like, as always, word study? We love that you go into the word study. We, it's a joy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I? it's interesting, you know, because the Bible is like, it's written, it's not written in English. So it, it it's, can be translated in so many different ways. Right. 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 And that's why we have so many, um, translations. Um, but the word zeal in scriptures, it doesn't like, I, like, as I started digging into it, it doesn't really mean what I thought it did as far as like this general definition of zeal um isn't the same through it's it's not really the same all through scripture mm. um words are translated into zeal or zealous mm -hmm. um that really don't mean you know <laughs> energy or enthusiasm i yes. mean it kind of have has a little bit of that feel yes um there's two words in particular that are translated into um zeal Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So this word, I'm gonna butcher it. I like listened not? to the pronunciation this morning, but uh, it's keen ah, and this is in Hebrew because it uh, appears in Isaiah. I have three Isaiah verses here mm -hmm. that it appears in, but uh, it means uh, jealousy, envy, and one time uh, it's translated as uh, for my sake. Which is interesting. I thought that one was kind of interesting myself. Um, should I read all of these? Scriptures? I would go for it. Why not? Okay. Um, so this word is used in, uh, I got three verses from Isaiah mm -hmm. and one from Song of Songs. So I, I love this one. Um, Song of Songs 8, 6. It says, set me a seal upon thine heart as a seal upon thine arm for love is strong as death. Jealousy, this is the word that was translated to zeal, mm -hmm. is cruel as the grave. The coals, therefore, thereof are coals of fire, which hath a most vehement flame. 
interesting word vehement right i feel like it kind of lends to that that same feel of zeal right yes yes but jealousy is such, the word here such a good verse that is um isaiah 9 7 of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end mm -hmm. upon the throne of david and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever the zeal of the lord of hosts will perform this <gasps> yes <please. laughs> the increase of his government and peace yes uh yes there shall be no end. How cool is that? Uh, Isaiah 42. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy, mm -hmm. a.k.a. zeal, like a man of war. So interesting. He shall cry. Yeah, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. And then Isaiah 59, 17, for he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head, for he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. Mm. I mean, it's just like, I, it's almost like a violent word. Yeah. No, you don't feel that? I like, mean, I don't know. I just get the it's sense like, of like. I look at it like such a power, like a yeah. powerful. Yeah. Like zeal to me is such a powerful word. You know, so when he, like, I will do it yeah. with zeal. It's like, oh gosh. like Yeah. With true power. Yeah. This next, this next one is zelos. I just love that. Zel zelos, I believe is, is how you pronounce it. Yeah. Um, in, in the King James version, it's translated as zeal, envy, indignation, uh, envy again, fervent mind, jealousy, emulation, and it's defined in Strong's as ex excitement of mind, ardor, fervor of spirits, zeal, ardor in embracing, pursuing, defending anything, zeal on behalf of, or for a person or a thing. Mm -hmm. The fierceness of indignation, be uh, or an envious and contentious rivalry or jealousy. Yeah. Fervor of spirit. That's the thing that always stuck out to me. Yeah. Like I, I can get behind that. Yeah. That really, yeah, hits my heart. Zeal, fervor, and spirit. Right. Like that fervent, that fervor. I love that word. Just a real sense of the word. Like, yeah, the feel of it. Yeah. Like, it's just something in your spirit that's just the fervent, it's like strong and powerful and like fierce. Yeah, fierce. You know? Yeah. Fervent in spirit. Like, ooh. Now, one of my favorite verses uh, is in Romans that has the word zeal in it. And it was interesting to kind of dig into this scripture because actually none of these words that is translated into zeal is actually used in the Greek for this. Um, it's, in it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So in NIV, it's trans like they translate it and they say zeal. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but actually the King James version is, does a better job at translating what it actually, actually is. says. Um, and the zeal just kind of gives it uh, the same feel. Yeah. NIV just kind of gives it the same feel. Anyway, but I love to dive into the there. King James. Yeah. There's yeah. a little technicality there that I thought just was interesting. Mm -hmm. um, Romans 12, 11. What's it say, Jocelyn? It says, never be lacking in zeal. And we'll give you the King James version after this, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. But in King James, it says not lagging in, di in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Not, not lagging. lagging in diligence. Like, how good is that? Not lagging in diligence. That's like, it just gives so much more context. How many of us are lagging in diligence? <sighs> I and just, I think there's avenues that you could be diligent in and then avenues that you could be really lagging in diligence. I, in. For me, you know, same. There's yeah, definitely been where. Even in this just last season, the Lord really saying, okay, you got to stop lagging and diligence over here. But I think it's kind of a, a it, it's really a convicting, 
uh, verse, not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Like that's a convicting yeah. um, scripture verse for us to just kind of chew on, cut on, you know, like, am I diligent? Yeah. Am I fervent in the spirit to serve the Lord? Like am I lacking zeal. Yeah. It's kind of a lot to think about. Yeah. And I, there are some, some scriptures that kind of help spur us on, I think, in zeal, um, even though they don't mention zeal, uh, that I, I, I grabbed a hold of as we were praying and contemplating this concept um, in 1 Corinthians 9. And I love this in the message interpretation in verse 24 through 27, it says, you've all been to the stadium and seen the athletes race. Everyone runs, one wins, Mm -hmm. run to win. All good athletes train hard. They do it for a gold medal that tarnishes and fades. You're after one that's gold eternally. I don't know about you, but I'm running hard for the finish line. I'm giving it everything I've got. No sloppy living for me. I'm staying alert and in top condition. I'm not going to get caught napping, telling everyone else <laughs> all about it, and then missing out myself. Mm, don't you just love that? Mm, Gosh. Go for it, Paul. <laughs> it was reminding me, my Great. pastor was going through the uh, armor of God, and he was talking about the sword. And he said something and it really just like hit me like a ton of bricks. And he was talking about how when they used to train with the sword, they would do it with something that was much heavier. Yep. And I've heard that before, but it never really like, you know, when sometimes you like really need to hear it over. Yep. Um, That they would train with a wooden sword, which was much heavier than the sword that they were actually going to fight with. And the Lord came over me during that time and was reminding me and saying, like, that's what diligence is. That's what training is. That's what really choosing to like be ready for battle, be ready for an equipped. That's what it is. And oftentimes if we get lackadaisy because we think, oh, that's too heavy. Like whatever. I'm not going to do it. Like you don't put the work in. I actually need this Yeah, yeah. when I'm in war. But that's the thing. When you're training and you're doing the hard work beforehand, it when is- it comes, it's going to be easy. easy. Exactly. Exactly. And I when think it really matters. Yes. And I, he was telling me at that time, he's like, you have done so much strengthening before that. That's why some wars now are super easy for you to fight. And there are wars that you are like training that you're in now to make it easier down the road when you're going to need it to be easier. And it, and I think we're in a constant state of that. If we're willing to be diligent and fervent that we will be equipped in whatever you're doing right now in your fervency and your diligency with the Lord and your dedication to serve him, like he's equipping you for what's down the road. It's your choice, whether you want to partake or not, you know? Yeah. And I mean, that's why I love, I love the phrase sweat and training. So you don't bleed in battle. It's true. It's when it really matters. The sweating will count. It does. It's so, and then you go through things and you're like, that wasn't even that bad. Well, because you already like went through the training. Yes. Yeah. And it is real. Like you just, we've got to get past uncomfortability of getting sweaty. Do you know? Like, yeah, just push past being sweaty. I mean, I have a ton of material in this, (laughs) in this web app called train in truth. Yes. So you can add some free training. So that's in the links down below. Go down there. I mean, I mean, like for real, that door just swung right open. I had to just tell you there's tons of resources for you there that I have poured out in hopes to help diligently with the training for others. And it's powerful. Even just doing the crown and swords um, study is huge. Just, yeah. It will just. Yes. <laughs> I mean, the Train and Truth app is one thing and like join doing all of that is one thing, but like I really incur I was just thinking about your crown and sword Bible study this morning, actually. And I was like, that that is where zeal comes from. Like when you sit and you dwell and you really think about what zeal is and how to gain zeal in your day to day, like that really was a big impact on my walk was her Bible study. So mm, that link's down there. Go there. Be encouraged. It, was, it took a lot of diligence to to put together. 
yeah like the time you told us that it that it all got deleted and then you redid it i just one section but still blows my mind but you were zealous for the lord Mm. and diligent and fervent you know what i mean and you persevered the weirdo over here (laughs) yeah we're both weirdos so we can be weird together and you're watching us so maybe you're a weirdo with us oh gosh it's okay it's this water's fine you know (laughs) the water is great it's great and it really we get to see god's miracles all the time because we're willing to be weird and see them so if you're nervous about getting in the pool of weird just jump in just right there just jump oh it's not weird it's beautiful it's yeah it's weird to the world but it's amazing you know, and Paul even says the aroma, the sweet aroma that we bring will be sweet to those that are ready to participate, but feel like death to those that aren't. <laughs> and so, right, I, I believe that's in first, it might be said, it's in one of the Corinthians. It is I, true. I just recently and I just read it. Like, and yep, that is all the truth right there. It is what it is. Yeah, it's sweetness. So... So fall in love. Mm, We just want to encourage you to be devoted in the daily. We have a God that is so madly in love with you, with us. He's like waiting for us. He's zealous for us. Zealous for us. Scripture says it over and over and over. He's zealous for us. And he's here fighting for us Mm -hmm. and wanting us, being patient for us to turn our hearts, our minds, our everything to him he just would love for us to be zealous back so yes let's do that yeah let's throw off restraint and be zealous after the lord okay i think that's it thanks for a great season thank you thank you for a great season thank you for joining us and loving us two seasons thank you for a great year it's been fun thank you for listening if you were listening to this after far after we thank you we just thank you i hope that it encourages you and um yeah all the things all the things okay we love you love you it has been such a joy to do these conversations with you and to serve you on this platform for now we close the door on devoted the daily show as we've known it Uh, just anticipating more wonderful adventures with God in different places. You can always find Jocelyn on the socials for sweet revelations, uh, for foodie goodness, for kitten love, and well, just plain fun. Her handle for all of the things is Buckets of Berries. You can find Christine, uh, the, the Crown and Sword Bible Study Curriculum, Spoken Words, and more resources on her Train and Truth web app, on YouTube, or on christinejames.com. It's with so much gratitude, we pray that you will be filled with the knowledge of his will, bearing fruit and being strengthened with endurance and joy. Oh, Godspeed, friend.